Now we're going to look at adding students to our workspace. To do this we need to be in the management tab and then in members. So in here there's a couple of ways that we can add individuals to our workspace. So one option is to click the add a member button and individually search for people though generally you shouldn't need to do that. The second way is using the option of synchronizing a new member group. Now this takes advantage of a feed from Unity so we can access all the student groups that are studying in the university at the moment. So if I start searching for example if I type the first few letters of some nursing modules I can see all these people or for example the PG CAP postgraduate course you can see how you're presented with a list of options and then if you want to just confirm that you've got your right group you can click on view members and it'll bring up a list of people who are studying on that module when you found the, the one that you're, you want you can press continue and it'll just give you an option of do you want to just add them or do you want to go through individually and modify permissions generally you won't need to do that so just press save and then your students are then added to the group this this will then mean that if you've shared workbooks or templates and things like that all these students will be able to access it and also if any students enroll or leave that feed is updated automatically if you need to remove a group you can just click on the remove group button